three 4K CMOS sensors, traditional to third inch with a before mount. Whatever you want to do, the Z750 is capable to do this. Hey guys, I'm here with the Z750, the new two thirds inch three CMOS sensor camera from Sony. So Sebastian, maybe you can talk us through it. Of course. Z750, our new flagship model in the shoulder camera range, free chip, CMOS, global shutter. So the first camera on the market, shoulder design, which is using free 4K CMOS sensors and with the global shutter technology combined. So that means all the issues we normally have on CMOS sensors with rolling shutter flash bands are completely gone away and also vertical smear like we have in the CCDs. So we have a lot of customers who are using still the PDW700, which we introduced around about 12 years ago. And they love the PDW700 because it's, it's a working horse and the image quality is amazing, outstanding. And the design and the buttons and the configuration, they know everything about it, right? Correct. As I said, working horse. So, and they said, okay, now it's the time we are looking into a camera which is following this, of course, design usability. And we want to go the step from HD to 4K or Ultra HD. So we want to have also the free chip, but we don't want to get the CMOS rolling shutter artifacts, for example, because they are shooting news with a lot of flashlights, fast pannings. And uh, yeah, the Z750 is eliminating all of this. So it's the camera which is capable of doing, of course, HD, so still HD. So XDCAM HD422 is a codec which is inside, which can do, of course, Ultra HD. So intra, but also long gob. You can do SDR, you can do Quad Full HD, HDR. So whatever you want to do, so the Z750 is capable to do this. So um, one thing is, if you want to shoot HD SDR for today, you can on parallel record Quad Full HD in um, HDR already at the same time. So they have, you have something for your archive. So your camera operator running a PW700 or an X400, X500, you put this on the shoulder, it's like coming home. All the buttons, if you just turn this one around, Mark. So as you can see, all the button, all the access, display, audio control on the same locations. And also the viewfinders are the same. So if you have one of our HDVF viewfinders, so this is the latest one, the OLED one with the full HD panel, you can still use them. And of course, and this is a set, we talked about free chip, but two third inch. So it's not large format, it's traditional two third inch with a before mount. So this is really the case where we said, okay, for news, for sports, we can go up to 120 frames in HD, uh, where you want to have zooms from Canon or Fujinon, you cannot have for large format lenses and you need to have a quick action or you have a scene which you cannot repeat anymore because something has missed or has gone wrong. The Z750 is the best choice for you. Aside from all the things that are similar than before and then earlier models, what is different? I think we have a new 12G SDI output on the backside of the camera, right? So this is a hardware change in the camera. So because we are talking about Ultra HD camera model, or let's call it 4K, we also need to bring this sometimes out of the camera for a monitor or something. And we don't want to use four BNC cables. So we want to make it easy. So it's 12G, just one single BNC. Another thing which is new, so when we talk about 4K or Ultra HD with Venice, for example, we are talking about infra codecs. So we are talking about data rates, which are going up to 500 or 600 megabits. So for a broadcast station, a little bit heavy for daily business and use gathering, all these things. So what we have done, we expanded our XAVC long gob codec for the Z750 and implemented a version which is XAVC long gob 4 to 2 10 bit in 200 Mbit. So that means if you run an XDCAM for 2 to 8 bit at the moment with 50 Mbit, now you have only 200 Mbit. So your resolution is going by 4 but also only the data rate. So it's a high quality 4K codec, 4 to 2, 10 bit, but with really low data rates. Thank you very much, Sebastian Leske, for showing us around the all new Z750. And thank you everyone out there for watching. <laughs>